Minnesota is known as the land of 10,000 loons, vikings, gophers. No, Minnesota is known as the land of 10,000 lakes. Minnesotans enjoy their lakes in lots of different ways. They go boating, swimming, fishing, or just take in their beauty. There are some people in Minnesota who have lived, worked, and played by the same lake for hundreds of years. They are the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe, and they still live by Lake Mille Lacs, one of the largest lakes in the state. <laughs> You'll learn about the Mille Lacs Band when you visit the Mille Lacs Indian Museum and Trading Post. You'll play games band members played. Some Native Americans back in the, let's say, 1800s did not only play lacrosse, they played baseball. That's one stick, go again. Play oh. You'll learn about the language, music, dance, and art the Mille Lacs Band has passed down over hundreds of years. We're doing beat work. You'll learn how the band lives today. And at the Trading Post, you'll see many arts and crafts American Indian artists create and sell. Look, at, there's an arrowhead. This is oh, so cool. You'll also walk into a world awesome. that shows how Ojibwe people lived and worked long ago in fall, winter, spring, and summer. Now here in the summer, they're going to be doing one of Minnesota's favorite pastimes, that's fishing. You'll see how everything they needed came from the lake and the land around it. The summer house was not birch bark, just like normal bark curved up and that keeps um, the cool air in. The Ojibwe use birch bark canoes to travel in almost every season. Now it's almost winter time and the water is about to freeze over. How do you think they stored their canoes over the winter so they'd be ready to use once the ice melted? They didn't take it apart, they wanted to keep it together. Think about it, talk about it, and find out the answer. I wish I could stay longer. When you visit the Mille Lacs Indian Museum and Trading Post. I would definitely come back.